Okay, next thing we're going to do is mount our tires here onto our front and rear rims using um, stands, uh, no tubes, uh, tire sealant on our Schwalbe tires. So first of all, I want to go over and talk about the tires real quick. These tires were advertised on the box as being 605 grams. Um, these are identical Racing Ralph uh, 29 inch. 2.25 um, tires and uh, I just want to show you how much they weigh so one tire was 690 grams and let me just zoom that in here a little bit so you can see better okay so one tire was 690 grams and the other tire 715 grams this is a significant difference from the 605 that is advertised when you look at the box that comes with when you look at the box that comes with um, these tires you can see this is the tire it is right here there's the racing Ralph snakeskin tubeless 605 grams so it's over a hundred gram difference 110 gram difference on one and uh, 85 gram difference on the other so big difference and a big difference between one tire and the next so I've decided I'm going to put the lighter tire, the lighter of the two, the 690 gram tire on the front and I'm going to put the heavier one that I've got on the back. So, so that's, the, uh, that's the Racing Ralph tire. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is talk about we have stand sealant. There's been a million videos on how to mount your tires and put stand sealant in so I just need sealant, measure, measuring cup to put the sealant in, into the tire. This is a little bit of uh, soapy water to help the bead pop. Then, of course, you're going to need a fuel pump. And we're also going to need some tire jacks. We're going to need, uh, I use these, uh, the speed the speed lever to get on there. So we use a lever. And then I got something new here, which is, is a uh, device to help you pull your bead. Uh, onto the rim. Um, my fingers get really sore uh, just from arthritis trying to pull a uh, bead onto the rim so um, I got this to see if that would help if if these uh, are difficult to pop onto the rim. So uh, from there we're going to go to uh, loading the uh, tires on the rim. Okay here I got the tire opened up um, and I got the rim sitting on top of it. You got to make sure that you look to see that where the rotation is on the tire and this one it says rotation it's in that direction so my tire is going to be turning like this so i got the rotation set right now what i'm going to do is start by putting the tire into the bead on the one side okay i just want to show you how i got this tire jack device loaded on there i got the, the hook on the on the bead on this side and then on the other side i got this loaded against the rim provide the, the jacking pressure to try to pull it on. We're going to see if this works. Okay, I've worked it on pretty good by hand up until this point, but I'm having a hard time getting this last section over. So I'm going to use my little tire jack device here. I'm going to pop that up under the rim here. On the other side, I'm going to fold the tire down. We really get the jack around the tire. I'm going to hook it on the bead and then pop it in. I just, uh, it's a lot better than using the knuckles. Okay, now we get the one side on. Now we're going to pop on this side and we're going to leave a little gap so that we can put our stands in after we have it loaded on the rim. So I'm going to start with the side with the valve on it. So I'm going to start with this side here. gap like that and this gap is where we're going to pour our stands into okay before I put our stands in there shake it up really well 
And I'm going to put 90 mLs of stands in. This is a measuring cup, and I'll uh, suggest 60, and then I'll do another 30. 60 right there. And we're going to pour our stands in there. Carefully. And we'll put another 30. Okay, good. Now our stands is in. Okay, but now with our stands in, I rotated the tire so now the fluid is down at the bottom. And I'm going to work on um, jacking the bead up over on this side so we don't spill um, stand sealant all over the place. So I'm just going to work to get the bead close. And I'm going to try using that tire jack device to pull it on the rest of the way. Okay, so I've gotten it pretty close with by hand so far. Now I'm going to hook up the tire jack device, this little thing, and I'm going to try to hook it on the opposite rim and use this to pull it over. So uh, I'll show you if I can get that hooked up again. So we've got it on the opposite rim. Try to pull it on. There we go. So I'll pop down. I'm just going to make sure I didn't cut my tape there anywhere with that device. It looks like it's on. Okay, now I've got the tire on the rim. I've got the bead. Inside the rim, I am going to spray down uh, the bead surface down with a little soapy water. I have it over a towel now, and I have it sitting on a bowl. It's just a little soapy water just to make it a little easier for the bead to pop on. Just a little bit of soapy water mixed in the sprayer. One side. To the other side. Good. Now what we have to do is hook up our pump and start pumping. Pump the 20, 30, oh, there's starting to pop. It's recording, right? Soapy water really helps it pop onto the rim and pump it all the way to 40. There we go. That's 40. And I'm just going to make sure that I made it all the way on the rim. Okay, so I dried it off a little bit so I could see the, the interface between the rim and the tire, and it looks pretty uniform all the way around. It looks like the bead. It's nice and tight. I kind of look at this this little edge right here and see if in some areas it hasn't been tucked. The soapy water really makes a difference in getting the bead on uh, without having to over pressurize the tire. Okay. And now it looks all pretty even all the way around the rim. And that's it. That one's, that one's done. Okay, so now that we have the bead on, now we just have to go around and mix mix the stands in there all the way around. Shake it up, go around the tire, make sure all the surfaces of the inside of the tire are getting stands on it. Then what I'll do is I'll rotate it like this a couple of times to make sure stands get on it. Then I sit them like this for a while and I rotate them every 30 minutes or so and I look for around the tire if I see if any, uh, if any sealant is leaking through 
a tire. I've done this before where you can actually see where sealant came through little uh, pinholes in the sidewall of the tire, but I think that that should be pretty good. So let's move on to the uh, rear tire. Okay, now I got the rear tire it's sitting on top of the rim. I got it opened up and it says rotation is in this direction. So I do have it on the right side of the tire in the right direction. So I'm going to go ahead and put the tire on the uh, rim again and do just like we did with the um, front tire. Okay, here again I got my tire jack device. I got it loaded on the rim on, on the rim back here. And then I've got it set up to pull the uh, bead onto the rim. So I'm going to see if this will work again. Pop it on just a little bit at a time here. better to put the hook on that side and then pop it over a little bit at a time. Okay good, so that's in. I'm not sure how well you can see that working but it's a lot easier on the hands to use that device than, than not. Okay so now we're just gonna pop this one on, this side on and get ready to put our stands in. Okay again we got our stands, we're gonna shake it up really well, invert it. Shook it up a little bit, so we're shake it up and then we'll put another 90 mLs in there. And my measuring cup. And there it is 60. Let's tilt this over so I get that in there good. Put another 30 in there. put the bead on and we're going to rotate it around so that the sealant is in the bottom of the tire away from so we don't get any leaks. So I'm just going to rotate it around so now the sealant is all down on this side of the tire. And we're going to work on putting the bead on up here. So let me get that set up and we'll come back. First thing you need to do is make sure that the tire is centered as much in the middle of the rim as possible so it puts less stress on the bead as you're trying to pull it over. And that's about as far as I can get it by hand before I start using the tire jack device. So again, I'm going to hook it on there like that. I'm going to hook it on the bead at the, at the rim on the other side, making sure it doesn't slip so you can see there it is on the other side. And now I'm going to go and I'm going to try to pull this on there. Okay. That looks pretty good. See, we got it that far so far. Now this time I'm going to probably put it like right here. I don't think I can go for the whole thing yet. So, again, I'm going to hook it onto the bead. And I'm going to put it on the rim on the other side. Now, try Pull it over. Okay. So we just got this little bit left. See, you got this little bit. Normally, you have to wedge this over with your hand, and it gets really hard on the hands. I get arthritis for like three days after I do this. So, again, I'm going to hook it on the bead, rotate it over, hook it on the back side of the rim. If you can see that, it's on the back side of the rim here. And we're gonna just gonna take it and we're gonna push down and pop it on. Okay, good. We're on. So there we go. Rim is all the way on. 
Okay, so now we get the uh, the tire on the rim. We're going to kind of spray it down with just a little bit of um, soapy water again, just to make it so that the the bead pops on the rim without using, having to use too much air pressure. Just a little bit of this is all that's in here. It's just a little bit of dish soap with water, and that's uh, nice and lubed up there. Flip it over. Let's get this raggy towel down there to absorb the water. I have it sitting on this bowl just to make it easier to make it easier to spin. Go around the tire, make sure it's nice and lubed. And then we're going to hook up our pump and pump it up. We got 20. Okay, it's 40. Okay, let's take a look at the rim. And it looks like it's fully seated there. Let's take a, this water off. The nice thing about the soapy water is that you got a leak, you can see it'll bubble up. Okay, that looks pretty good. This bead looks really even all the way around the tire. Pump. Flip it over. Take a look at the other side. Okay, again. B looks nice and even all the way around the tire. We just have to do our little shaking maneuver again, making sure we get sealing all the way around the tire. I'm just doing this real quick, but you're going to want to do this more thoroughly. All the way around the tire. And then of course, rotate it. So you get sealant on every surface and in the inside of the tire. The sidewalls, the bottom of the tire, and the bead. And that's it. That tire is all set on that rim.